An estimated 580 homes, a hotel and a shopping center have burned and tens of thousands of people were evacuated in wind-fueled wildfires outside Denver, officials said Thursday evening. Boulder County Sheriff Joe Pelle said one injury has been reported and he didn't rule out the possibility of more injuries or deaths to come given the intensity of fires that quickly swept across the region as winds gusted up to 105 miles per hour. The first fire erupted just before 10.30 a.m. and was attacked pretty quickly and laid down later in the day and is currently being monitored, with no structures lost, Pelle said. A second wildfire, reported just after 11 a.m., ballooned and spread rapidly east, Pele said. The blaze spans to five square miles and has engulfed parts of the area in smoky, orangish skies and sent residents scrambling to get to safety. Thursday night's wind activity will determine when crews are able to go in and begin assessing the damage and searching for any victims. This is the kind of fire we can't fight head on. L.A. said. We actually had deputy sheriffs and firefighters in areas that had to pull out because they just got overrun. The city of Louisville, which has a population of about 21, 000, was ordered to evacuate after all 13, 000 residents in Superior were told to leave. The neighboring towns are roughly 20 miles northwest of Denver. Several blazes started in the area Thursday, at least some sparked by downed power lines. Six people who were injured in the fires were being treated at UC Health Broomfield Hospital, spokesperson Kelly Christensen said. A nearby portion of U.S. Highway 36 was shut down. Colorado's Front Range, where most of the state's population lives, had an extremely dry and mild fall, and winter so far has continued to be mostly dry.